I he found this like I don't know what this, this is. thing and he keeps pointing it at me. It's weird. Guys, send help. Send help. <laughs> help. I need an adult. Wait, what is does this say something on it? It just says trim. Trim. I think it's like a hair puller. I know that's not a thing. I got you. You know what I mean? Alright, anyways. Fable, eight bit man. Man, why did I say I said it like true blue? That was how True Blue says that word. Versus Sweet Yeah, M-Y-A-N. Yep. Man. Man. Oh, so we're seeing the Sheik, yeah. though. I'm oh, so yeah. Sweet that's, I think that's why he's made his tag Sweet T. He is going Sheik uh, every tournament, all season, uh, with the exception of against Master Raven and um, Blank, because he doesn't want to do the Sheik ditto. So we will be seeing a lot of Sheik from Vitamin, a.k.a. Sweet T, this season. Ape Man breaking out the Diddy because Sheik Rob is a laughably bad matchup. Um, this <laughs> yeah. matchup, though, probably even, honestly. And FD, I think, is the best stage for both characters in this matchup. Mm. Um, typically, you don't want to take Diddy Kong to Final Destination. Um, but in this matchup, I mean, Sheik definitely has great landing options. She can get away from that banana pressure. Um, she has needles, which is which are amazing on this stage. Edge guarding, as we're going to see right now, very strong. Mm -hmm. I do know that pre-patch she was a positive matchup on Diddy Kong. Yes. Now though, it's a little closer to even because she doesn't have her 50/50. She, without banana, like she definitely has a stronger neutral. Yeah. Th than banana list Diddy Kong, but banana Diddy Kong, it could be like a very close neutral and. She can, Diddy mean, Kong she does not slack on kill power. That's definitely true. She can kind of just frame data on shield, honestly, and not get punished by banana like uh, most other characters will. And it looks like Vitamin uh, Sweet Tea is also very familiar with the ins and out of this matchup. We saw him, for example, oh, that forward air killed. Bad DI question mark. Sweet spot. Fair. 134% though. That seems kind of low for a forward air kill. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, we saw Sweet Tea down air on the banana earlier to get rid of it. So, um, Yeah, he is uh, definitely one of Josh's training partners. Josh being Wormy Nugget. Yeah, but I don't know when the last time. I know they used to play. They have played a lot. But I don't know when the last time was just because, uh, you know, like I was he's been kind of sick lately. Yeah, but I think they've played enough sets just. Oh, yeah. He's still, oh, that's going to be a regrab. Down smash is not going to take the stock. Wow. I'm actually very surprised. Ape Man putting himself off stage. Those needles were clutch. Yeah, the sides of FD are pretty wide. Yeah, actually they're average. Yeah, I but think, yeah, they're fairly. Oh, don't SD. Okay. Okay, Bert. and he just waited it out. Sweet T has seen all the tricks in the book when it comes to Diddy Kong. Yeah, and I think he knows. You know, Ape Man has. Is that gonna kill? Not yet. Ape Man is kind of an unconventional Diddy Kong. That dash tag also catching banana. But you know who's also an unconvention un uh, unconventional Diddy Kong? Don't say Wormy Nugget because that's not nugget. true. <laughs> he, he hits you with, like, these crazy movement, but at the oh, same Oh, yeah, no, he's very tech. Yeah, he's very tech heavy. That, that's what I was trying to say. He's very tech heavy. He does a lot of crazy stuff, but, like, you know, at the core, I think he's a pretty... He does what Diddy Kong does best, and he does it very well. He Diddy Kongs very well. Then he has the Wormy Nugget special, the Z-Drop Dare offstage for the edge guard. Yeah, the throw that's, him in the dirt. That's the Wormy Nugget special right there. I don't care who else does it. That is the Wormy Nugget. He has a few other tricks, too. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, I don't see any other Diddy Kongs do the uh, the wall hop, peanut, pop gun, cancel to land on stage laglessly. Yeah, and he and Wormy Nugget, I know... That's a strict yeah. input. I tried laving it. To, uh, it's one hard. frame to cancel, I believe. Yeah. Anyways, Ape Man really thinking about what he wants to do to adapt uh, to this matchup stage-wise and also just how he needs to change his play because that was hands. I think Sweet he should he take him to Town and City. That's kind of what... We see the counter pick go there a lot. I think Triplat's also a good option. Like, both these, neither of these characters really have bad stages, you know? They could even go to Lila, and I think both characters would be comfortable. Yeah. The, when I was playing Diddy Kong, the only stage I didn't really like going to was Battlefield. But a lot yeah. of Diddy Kongs and do a lot like of, Battlefield. Yeah, and a lot of Diddy Kongs like Battlefield, exactly. <laughs> Looks like we're seeing a Rob switch, though. Wow. Okay, Rob switch to... Definitely not going to FD, then. Dreamland? Maybe Dreamland or Town. I could see Dreamland or Town. Hey, man, though, taking a breath. This is good. Taking a drink this is good. of that... Nasty Dasani water. Oh, that's gross. Oh, God. He's going to lose now. Yo, but oh, my God. We are going back to FD. Dasani sparkling water is okay. All right. We're not going to talk about this. Anyways, <laughs> I'm about to add Dasani to the list of words that gets you muted. Why are you chat. hating? <laughs> it's just fun, honestly. I don't actually have an opinion. But anyways, uh, running it back to Smashville. Um, excuse me. I'm so used to saying that. Running it back to FD, this time with the Rob. This matchup's very, very difficult for Rob. But let's see how Ape Man is able to uh, adapt to Vitamin's but just sheer aggression. Do you happen to know how Ape Man has done to our Sheiks in the past? 
Like, how has he done with Rob? Um, recent for the as of late, you know, oh, since for a very, since he picked up Diddy Kong, he's pretty much gone just Diddy Kong against Sheiks. I don't think I can remember the last time he actually went Rob against Sheiks. So, I don't know. I know, like, super back in the day, he had sets on players like Fusix, Ed. He, he had a lot of sets on Ed, actually, when Ed was playing more Sheik. Um, oh, man, I miss Ed so much. I always miss Ed. <clears throat> Ape Man Special, Mas or v Sweet Tea knows. I just cycled through, like, three Sheiks in my head. <laughs> All right, we got Nair. Does not get the re-grab. Oh, I actually thought really he was going to get something nice off of that soft Nair. Nice. All right, we take that trade. Okay, Needle's, Needles Bouncing, bouncing Fish. fish. But Rob's kind of thick. Rob has a lot of trouble landing and getting back to stage. Sheik's edge guard is so good. Ooh, Vitamin looking for sweet tea. <laughs> Damn it, looking for a read there. <laughs> that up throw is probably gonna take it. Sheik's kind of light. Yeah, and with uh, a good amount of rage. Yeah, Rob's got a lot of junk in his trunk. Oh god, what did I do? The chat's talking about water. Okay, needles. So oh, tried to get dragged down forward or down smash. That would have been sick. Drag down forward. Drag down, up. Uh, okay. drag, down, uh, drag down up there, excuse me, thank you. All good. All for the sake of no misinformation. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> That's not in my dictionary. Why do you forward tilt that way? Ooh, very close. It's so this is now vocabulary. this is now where Sheik is going to have uh, some issues. Well, unless that happens. That's not going to kill. I feel like he could have run up up smash. Does he just not care about gyro? Yeah, I feel like run up up smash would have worked too because... Rob is one of those characters that has like the, enough vertical height where it might sweet spot just exactly. by standing still. Yeah. Like Rosalina. Yeah. I wonder if that grenade was intentional. Bayo too. Yeah, Bayo. Yep. That's a big one. Yep. Yeah, and Vitamins, Sweet Tea's having a lot of trouble taking this stock. Yeah. I mean, I, I like the switch to Rob a lot because it's a completely different play style yeah. than Diddy Kong. And... Oh, almost got the air dodge read. 176 up air going to finally take Ape Man's first stock, but Sweet Tea with 105% on the board now. This is good for Sheik, though, because Sheik... Kind of. Her combos don't really work as well anymore, though. Are you sure? Yes. On Rob? Uh, not not as much, not for as long as they would otherwise. Mm -hmm. Sheik is not a character that That empty rage. hop. Dude, Tomahawks with Sheik and certain other characters are so scary. So now that Sweet Tea has taken the stock, this is this is definitely still within the realm of possibility. Ooh, that gyro is super cool. And oh man, gonna do it. what a, a nice catch! Grab. That right. was. But I mean, at the same time, but Sweet Tea was kind of asking for it. He did the same like answer to the gyro setup every yep, time. That was the third time in a row he did that. Exactly. I was wondering how I was going to adapt to that. I think he can like jump off stage and then bouncing fish onto the gyro and then like kick off of it yeah but then he had to either unsafely land on stage or re-grab the ledge without involve so i he don't could, know if like, i recommend that fade in back air then up b i don't know i he feel can like do stuff but like that all just loses to ape man shielding that's true we got an fd set you still got to mix it up though oh yeah definitely no i agree you definitely have to mix it up absolutely back to fd just like you said um Let's see if Sweet Tea kind of got enough time in that last game to learn what he needs to do against this Rob. Honestly, I think it's really going to come down to he needs to get the kill earlier. Ooh, good air dodge. Ape Man playing very defensively, just not letting Vitamin get in. But at the same time, Sweet Tea does have the percent lead. Yeah. As evasively as Ape Man's playing, he's not getting a lot of damage right now. Yeah, the mileage, it's like one step forward, but still two steps back. Yeah. And it's only a matter of time until the Rob runs out of gas. And uh, can't really figure out <laughs> can't really figure out what it could, what's working against the Sheik. Ooh. Does not get the sweet spot on the up there. I'm actually up surprised. Crash. I'm surprised yeah, that like didn't sweet spot. All right, that's one way to get rid of Gyro. Good roll from Ape Man. Oh, Soft Nair. Not going to confirm the Bouncing Fish, but great pivot grab. Trying to call out the jump with the up air, but Ape Man not biting. I actually think he could have done Soft Nair to running up smash, and that might have worked because he air dodged into the ground. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, because he air dodged, it would have worked, but... Oh, man, just fairing him out of that up smash. That up smash definitely would have been a stock. 
that forward air stuffing Sweet Tea out of his uh, Bouncing Fish. So now Rob with this much rage can definitely take this stock first and then we're going to be back to square one just like last game. Vitamin will have to take that kill early. So it's definitely important for Vitamin to not lose the stock first. Stage spike. Going to have invincibility again. Oh, all the rolls! Is that throw going to do it? Going yes, to do it. it is. With all the rage in the world, he can definitely take that stock off with an up throw. Oh. Eight man just kind of exploded. Yeah. Man, the last patch where they touched Sheik and like nerfed her weight, that hurt so bad. Like, Sheik dies like an easy 10% earlier now. Yeah, I mean, she's still a top five character. Oh, yeah, of course. Frame data can get you so far. Yeah. Like a certain character with a frame four up B. Just up B. Just up B. Which you'll see after this set in Winner's Finals. Yes. Not able to punish the landing. And again, Ape Man just holding on to the stock. We got Beep Mixing boop. him up, Beep Boop. All right, good job not air dodging. That almost looked like he phantomed off of him. I think it's because Sheik's wearing black clothing. <laughs> no, but like, Sheik jumped really high. Oh, maybe. Maybe like a footstool. Yeah, a phantom footstool. Dash attack, though. Not gonna do it, 191. Sweet T really has to find a way to take this stock off, and that down smash is not gonna be the right way. If it was a little earlier, it would have done it. Like to actually hit the roll? Yeah. Bouncing fish across stage, over 200%. Finally gonna take the stock. Now again, Sweet T at 82. This is, this is still doable, but uh, it's definitely a mountain to climb. Nice. And Vitamin is not, a, sorry, Sweet T is not a player who's like very cheese heavy. So we're not gonna see like a down air spike or anything. Yeah, definitely. We are gonna see actual, we're gonna see neutral game. and neutral confirms. Ooh, not spacing those forward airs very well though. Big man rolling out, not wanting to take that grab. This is a match of how does Sheik get in safely versus how does Rob keep Sheik out? And how does she get the kill? That that's, that's a big oh, question too. Okay, but the percents are slowly starting to climb in Sheik's favor. Bit Wait. by bit, chipping her way into this game. Eight bit by eight bit. But again, oh my God. But Sweet Team needs to find a way to get the kill though. The the percent doesn't matter if, if he can't kill. That's very true. All this pressure though. Oh, gets the air dodge. Try to get a footstool. Up. Oh, air and snipes him the with the laser. Ape Man's a sniper. 8-bit man. 8-bit sniped. 8-bit sniped. Eaton, come to the stream room. And that is going to be it for Losers Quarters. We are going to head into Winners Finals shortly. Uh,